What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of My Journey to an Ultimate Team and we're going to start this episode off with a new signing, it is an inform signing, it is the one and only inform Chalhonoglu. The only sad thing about this signing though is that he obviously is going to slot into the cam position and that means we have to get rid of Maxime and Maxime was such a great servant to the club PC, he played 53 games, got 20 assists, or 20 goals and 19 assists and I didn't even have the heart to get rid of him, like I didn't want to discard him, I didn't want to sell him, I'm like you know what, we'll just keep him on the reserves, I only paid 700 coins for him so... I don't know, maybe in the future if Chalhanoglu gets injured or something, I'll just slip Maxime right into that slot. But, it is time for upgrades in this series, and Chalhanoglu is out there. Let's see if he can get some goals on his debut. And how weird is that? We come up against somebody else who also has informed Chalhanoglu. What are the chances of this? So anyway, we break through this guy, right through the middle. He just didn't close me down. There was just acres of space, and we, Kostic makes it 1-0, putting that one into the top right-hand corner. But this guy was just showing me how much of a beast this guy Raphael was, because... He was just doing like ball rolls and like simple skill moves and he was just doing me and all over the pitch with Rafael. He got himself the equalizer there and then who's going to get himself a debut goal? None other than our new inform signing after a bit of fortune. To be honest, it falls to him but he does put it away to make it 2-1 and then from kickoff, like I said, this guy was doing the simplest of skill moves like ball rolls, roulettes. He's just moving the ball all over the place in the most random of areas and just popping them in and off the post every time. Like Rafael definitely had his shooting boots on, his dribbling boots on. He was just all over me and that was definitely a deserved draw so we don't get a win in that one uh, that was out our first game of division one as well but our new signing did get himself a debut goal which is always very nice to see so let's move on to this next match with our fitness team and this guy has a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow variation basically Bundesliga team with one random Serie A player at left center mid I don't know why he's chosen chosen to put um, Pereira there but oh well it works out for me because it brings down his chemistry a bit and Dumbia gets himself on the score sheet with a volley Put some pretty poor marking there from the center half, I gotta say. And right here, we're on the ball with Kishna. We cut inside. I do the skill move. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like the Megidi spin, but instead of forward into the right or left, you press down into the right or left. I think it's the Elastico Chop, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was the Elastico Chop. So anyway, we make it 2-0 there. And then we're going to cut this back to Witzel. The save is parried right into a... Uh, the path of Dumbia and Dumbia very, very calmly puts that one into the back of the net to make it 3-0. And I can't stress enough, I know I said it like two episodes ago when I made this team, but guys, seriously, make this fitness team if you are short for coins, because it is amazing. I mean, they just keep performing and performing and performing, and they're performing still in Division 1. I still have yet to lose a game with them. I hope I didn't just jinx them there, but they are just playing ridiculously well. Anyway, next opponent here basically has the uh, dream team that you would want if you have a... Uh, a Premier League side, maybe he doesn't have a couple players like Aguero and maybe company arguably. But if there is one thing we knew we were getting when we got that inform Chalhonoglu, it is free kicks. And there was only a matter of time before this man was going to put away a free kick. Very nice one, driven. He curves that inside and it comes in after it clips the post. And then this guy fouls Bellarabi who... You know what, Bellarabi, although he doesn't get himself on the score sheet that often, I think he's like 11 games now with only 3 goals, he's always causing problems, so I'm actually very happy with that signing. And then right here, this guy decided to rage quit, it's the 85th minute, I suppose maybe he just didn't want to play the last few minutes of the game for whatever reason, he felt the game was over. So we win that one 2-0, and now we are really looking good, like we are on such a win streak guys, our form is incredible, I can't remember, I think it's been 2 episodes now since we have lost a game, we're really hoping to keep this streak going, it'd be awesome to win Division one title on our first try so let's get into this next match 4-3-3 um premier league team everything's looking good maybe the only thing you could say is that he's got sterling at right wing but he's got two bright links into him so i think sterling's going to be fine and this is just a great goal here from dumbia some good hold up play from aramenko and dumbia's in to make it one nil and i have to say dumbia he does not only bring pace to the table like dumbia has actually been extremely extremely clinical uh you know surprisingly sometimes a lot of the faster strikers in this game don't have the best finishing Dumbia has been very very clutch in the box and he's finishing all kinds of chances we're on the ball here with Aramenko we're going to cut inside with a little fake shot and that is a great shot into the top left hand corner to make it 2-1 Aramenko also playing outstanding in this team and this is one of those situations where I stress it to you guys so much in FIFA 16 you cannot give away poor passes because they're going to come back to haunt you just like he did there you saw I try to pass it up the wing he intercepted accepted it and just like that it led to a goal you have to be so careful with your passes in this um in this year's fifa because you can easily concede goals just like that so we draw that one but we're still undefeated 
hoping to get a win in this next match. And uh, this guy has a 4-3-3 hybrid. He's got La Liga on the left. He's got Liga on, on the uh, right. He's got the Inform Benarfa, which is a great card. I really want to use that one at some point. And we're on the ball here with Huntelar. And this this goal isn't scored by Huntelar, but Huntelar was just the man that made this happen. I mean, such great hold-up play. Clever 1-2 to find more space. Plays in Hakan Chalhonoglu, and we, we are up 1-0. And then he gets a goal here from a very weird corner. Like, and I'm not going to say weird, but the finish was weird because a lot of people pass it short and then cross it in. But anyway, we're going to pass this ball off to Chalhonoglu. He's going to do a Berber spin. Fake shot to come inside. This guy doesn't know which way I'm going. And then Chalhonoglu with his second goal of the game to make it 2-1. And Hakan Chalhonoglu was just all over this guy. He was hungry. We play him in yet again. He sells himself, goes down to ground, and we make it 3-1. And Hakan Chalhonoglu gets his hat trick. This guy has been incredibly, incredibly good in his first few games. I think that makes it five goals in three games. He has been playing outstanding very very happy with the new signing hopefully there's more goals to come and a uh, big shout out to everybody in the comments who recommended him because so far he has been beastly so we're 3 2 and 0 in division one now we're going to get to the trading or i should say a bit of a fail trading because um what i actually bought this Lewandowski even before i signed chalhanoglu but i was waiting for his price to go up as high as possible because i think i made a bit of a mistake and i know i've said this countless time where oh we're gonna lose coins in this trade and so far we haven't i think this time we might actually end up losing coins on this Lewandowski because i listed him up for 123 and the, at the time the cheapest by now was like in the 119 to 120 area so I, I think i've made a big mistake so fingers crossed i can make my coins back or lose minimal coins in the next episode but that's gonna be it for this episode guys if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button, guys. We do we have an inform signing, so come on, guys, smash those likes. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.